Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing four different super super cute Minecraft mods that you would definitely want to install into your Minecraft world if you would like to cutify your game. Without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first mod that I'm showcasing is the More Food Mod Sushi Edition. This mod adds 10 different types of food items to your game, each food item having its own crafting recipe as well as each food item giving you a different type of ability. Now the items that are added with this mod are sushi, sashimi, shrimp, fish fillet, fish steak, dragon fruit, avocado, strawberry, strawberry jam, and sardines. When consuming any of those items, each item gives you a different kind of ability. So not only are they edible, but they also give you some pretty cool effects. The sushi gives you speed, sashimi gives you haste, shrimp gives you water breathing, fish fillet gives you absorption, fish steak gives you health booth, health booth, <laughs> health boost, dragon fruit gives you regeneration, avocado gives you also regeneration, strawberry gives you jump boost, strawberry jam gives you strength, and sardines give you night vision. And their crafting recipes are pretty simple. To craft to craft a strawberry, you need sugar and bone meal. To craft sushi, you need any type of fish with a lily pad. To craft sashimi, I hope I said that right, you need two carrots and any type of fish. To craft shrimp, you need any type of fish with some seeds. For fish fillet, you need two types of any fish. For fish steak, you need only one type of fish. For dragon fruit, you need an apple and redstone. For avocado, you need one piece of glowstone, dust, sugar, and bone meal. For strawberry jam, you're going to need two strawberries strawberries from this mod with one glass bottle. And finally, for sardines, you need any type of fish alongside one iron ingot. It's just a really cute slash cool mod to have in your game. Now, for the next mod, we have my personal favorite, which is the Shoe Mystics mod. Basically, what this mod does is adds a brand new biome to the game, which is let me tell you, such a cute vibe. I mean, just look at this. Look at those beautiful pink trees, flowery grass, and it's just it's just so beautiful and pretty and cute, and I just love it so, so much. Now, not only does it add a brand new biome to the game, but it also adds brand new items to the game. Now, some of the new items that are added to the game are some new weapons and some new armor. As you can see over here, we have some new pink crystal armor, which is so, so adorable. And as you can see over here, we have some new pink crystal weapons that can all be crafted using a pink crystal. To obtain a pink crystal, you're going to need some pink crystal ore and to get some pink crystal ore, you can find them underground in caves while you mine. They're very, very easy to find. They also glow in the dark, which is pretty cool and also makes them easier to find. Now also, you can get some crystal dust and also you can craft a pink crystal block. To craft a pink crystal block, you're going to need eight pink crystals and you're gonna need one crystal dust. To craft crystal dust, all you need is just one pink crystal in your crafting table and it should give you some crystal dust. Also, another thing this mod adds is flower crowns, which let me tell you, I'm obsessed. Now, of course, as you can see over here, you have different colored flower crowns and they all have their own unique recipes, but the main ingredients you need to craft any of those flower crowns would be vines and white rose petals. To get white rose petals, you need a white rose, which is added into the game with this mod, as you can see. It comes with the Mystic Forest biome. You can find them in the Mystic Forest and you can use them to craft some white rose petals to make some super cute flower crowns. So this is one of the flower crowns I'm wearing right now. It is so, so, so cute. I love it so, so much. Now here's how you can craft those flower crowns. To craft a white flower crown, you're going to need four rose petals and one vine. For a purple flower crown, you're going to need two alliums and of course the main ingredients, white rose petals and vines. For a blue flower crown, you're going to need some blue orchids. For a yellow flower crown, you're going to need some dandelions. For a pink flower crown, you're going to need some peonies. And last but not least, for the red flower crown, you're going to need some poppies. Of course, with a new biome comes new types of trees and wood. Now, the new trees that are added with this biome are those cute mystic trees and those are their logs as you can see 
Those are the leaves. They're pink and super cute. And as you can see, those are the saplings, which are so adorable. I really, really love those trees. From the Mystic Log, you can get a new type of wood, which are Mystic Planks. It's like a really light type of pink wood, which is so, so cute. I can just see so many cute houses being built with this type of wood. Of course, you got stairs and slabs, trapdoors, and fences. And that's pretty much it for the Shoe Mystics mod. So for the third mod on the list, we have the Simply Tea mod. And this mod basically adds some tea trees as well as different types of tea that you can craft in the game. Over here are some tea trees that spawn in forests randomly around your world. And they're small and super cute. You can use those trees to get some tea leaves as well as tea sticks using either shears or an axe. Now an axe, of course, destroys the tree but with shears you can just basically shear the tea leaves off of the tea trees as you can see the tea leaves will regrow so you can basically have a tea tree farm if you use an axe you can break the tree and it'll give you some tea sticks which can be used to craft some items in this mod so this mod adds six different types of tea to the game which all have their own unique crafting recipe which i will get to in just a moment first and foremost to craft any type of tea in this mod you're going to need a teacup to craft a teacup, you're going to need three pieces of clay with one piece of bone meal. You're going to also need a tea bag, which only needs one piece of string and four pieces of paper. Let's say you want to craft some green tea. What you're going to need is a green tea bag. So you're going to need two pieces of tea leaves with a tea bag, which will give you a green tea bag. Now, to craft a cup of green tea, you're going to need the green tea bag, the teacup, and of course, a teapot filled with boiling water. To get a teapot filled with boiling water, you're going to need an empty teapot. To craft an empty teapot, you're going to need four pieces of clay with one cyan dye. And once you have it, all you need to do is just right click the water and it'll be filled with some water. All you need to do is just put the teapot full of water in a furnace, smelt it, and it should give you a teapot filled with with boiling water and then you can use that to craft your cup of green tea. You can also make some dandelion tea which requires you to make a dandelion tea bag. To make that you're gonna need an empty tea bag with two pieces of dandelion. That's basically how this goes. Each type of tea has a different crafting recipe and you can also make hot chocolate which needs some cocoa beans. Now the last thing I want to show you guys from this mod are well, you can craft using those tea sticks. Now you can make some tea fence gates and you can also make some tea fences, which in my opinion look super cute and can be used while you're building. They're just so cute for building. I really, really like them. And yeah, for the final mod on this list, I'm going to be showcasing the wings mod. And let me tell you guys, this is such an amazing mod that, okay, hello chicken, hello, what you're interrupting my video. Okay, ignore the chickens that are just like everywhere. <laughs> this is such a cool, cute mod as well as such a helpful mod. So basically this mod adds different types of wings to the game, which can all be crafted with their own unique recipes. This mod adds angel wings, slime wings, blue butterfly wings, monarch butterfly wings, fire wings, bat wings, fairy wings, evil wings, and dragon wings. My personal favorite would be those angel wings. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It is just adorable. Just look at that. It's so cute. Now the main ingredients you need to craft any of those wings would be some fairy dust, gold ingots, and no diamond. To get some fairy dust, you're going to need some fairy dust ore, which can be found while mining. Before I show you guys how those wings work and how to fly, I want to show you guys two uh, unique wings recipes that need some unique items. If you want to craft some bat wings, you're going to need some bat blood. And to get some bat blood, you're going to need an empty glass bottle. Right click a bat and it should give you its blood. And you're going to have to use that 
to craft those bat wings. For the evil wings, you're going to need an amethyst. And to get the amethyst, you're going to need to mine some amethyst ore, which can be found underground while mining as well. Before we get to flying, I'm going to show you guys the recipes of all the other wings. For the angel wings, you're going to need some feathers and, like I said before, the main ingredients, which are gold ingots, fairy dust, and a diamond. Slime wings, you're going to need slime balls. The blue butterfly wings, you're going to need lapis lazuli and an ink sack. For monarch butterfly wings, you're going to need orange dye and an ink sack. For fire wings, you're going to need some blaze powder. For bat wings, as said before, you're going to need some bat blood. For fairy wings, you're going to need an oxy daisy and a pink tulip. For evil wings, as said before, you're going to need an amethyst as well as an emerald. And finally, for dragon wings, you're going to need some dragon's breath. To fly with those wings, you're going to need to press R to enter flight mode and just fly. I mean, look at that. You guys, this is just so adorable. Oh my god, I love it so much. This definitely helps when you're trying to get around faster. So while flying, you lose hunger, and once you get low on hunger, you're eventually going to fall down. But don't worry, you won't take any fall damage, which is really, really good. You just fall down, and then you have to basically fill up your hunger bar so that you can fly again. Now, to enter and exit flight mode, you can press R. You can change, of course, the key button in the controls in the settings, but it's set on R in default. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. If you want to download any of those mods, the download links will be in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!